Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix fingerprint not working on Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This problem can be frustrating, but don't worry. I've got you covered with simple and effective solutions. So let's dive right in. Step 1. Clean the fingerprint sensor and your finger. Before doing anything else, it's important to ensure there are no obstructions or dirt on the fingerprint sensor or your finger. Here's how you can start. Clean the sensor. Grab a soft, lint-free cloth and gently wipe the fingerprint sensor located on the back or under the screen of your Samsung phone. Dust, grime, or oils can often cause the sensor to malfunction. Clean your finger. Make sure your finger is clean and dry. Oils, lotions, or dirt on your finger can interfere with the sensor's ability to recognize it. Once both the sensor and your finger are clean, test the fingerprint scanner again to see if the issue persists. Step 2. Open Settings and Locate Security Options Next, we're going to dive into the phone settings to check if there's any issue with the security settings. Unlock your Samsung phone. Open the Settings app. Scroll down until you see Security and Privacy. Tap on it to open the menu. Step 3. Access the Screen Lock and Biometrics settings. Once you're in the Security menu, you'll need to check your biometric settings. Here's how. Scroll down and locate the Screen Lock and Biometrics option. Tap on this option and enter your phone's password or PIN if prompted. Once inside, find the Fingerprint section. This is where you'll be able to adjust your fingerprint settings. Step 4. Remove the current fingerprint registration. Sometimes, the fingerprint scanner may not work because the saved fingerprint data is corrupted or incorrectly registered. To fix this, follow these steps. In the fingerprint menu, you'll see your currently registered fingerprints. Tap on the fingerprint option and look for the remove button. Confirm that you want to delete the fingerprint data by following the on-screen instructions. After removing the fingerprint data, the next step is to re-register a new fingerprint. Step 5. Register a new fingerprint. Now let's go ahead and add a new fingerprint to your device. Follow these steps. In the same menu, tap on the Add Fingerprint option. Follow the on-screen instructions to place your finger on the sensor. You'll be prompted to press your finger onto the sensor multiple times, adjusting the position each time to ensure the entire fingerprint is captured. Repeat the process as necessary until the fingerprint registration reaches 100% complete. Once the fingerprint is successfully added, check to see if it works by unlocking your phone with your fingerprint. Step 6. Update your device software. If the issue persists even after cleaning and re-registering your fingerprint, it's possible that your phone's software is out of date. An outdated system can cause glitches with the fingerprint sensor. To update your phone's software, open the Settings app again. Scroll down and tap on Software Update. Tap on Download and Install to check if a new update is available for your device. If there's an update, follow the on-screen instructions to download and install the latest version of the software. Once the update is complete, restart your phone and try using the fingerprint sensor again. Step 7. Factory Reset Your Device if none of the previous steps worked, you can try performing a factory reset. This will erase all the data on your phone, so be sure to back up important files before proceeding. Here's how. Open Settings and scroll down to select General Management. Tap on Reset, then select Factory Data Reset. Scroll down and tap Reset, then confirm your decision by entering your password or PIN. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the reset. After your phone resets, it will be as good as new up, and the fingerprint sensor issue may be resolved. Remember to restore your data from your backup after the reset. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great tips.